guys, welcome to Sewing Tuesday and I've caught up now I think. I think there's going to be another prompt tomorrow for Roxy's Journalist Ditchery. Um, it's material, favourite fabrics and this might seem an unlikely bunch. <laughs> I'm looking to see if it works, I don't know. Um, I love these little edgings from fabrics with the numbers on so I've sewn that on the bottom uh, there. I, I put a little tab on some leftover from the lace from the other page. I've got this really thick burlap, hessian fabric, thick weave. I really love this. I'm eking it out. I haven't got too much of that left, so I wanted to put that on. Um, this is from a vintage uh, doily. Um, and I love the sewing on there and I've been hoarding that particular little bit with the embroidery on This is out of, it reminds me of uh, lockdown and uh, setting up the Etsy shop And it being really, really popular and my fabric packs And I put some of that um, fabric in the packs So i would got a little bit of that left Of course I'm eking out my mum's Devore from a, a trouser suit she had so obviously that's special uh, and this bit is from I've got this uh, lovely look at this it's tie-dyed fabric that I've been, had for a long while I've got this little bit of thing that I might use again this is uh, I've had this a while in fact, it looks quite nice like that, doesn't it? It looks quite nice like that. Okay, but what I thought I would do today is I'm going to do some uh, dangly beads. And um, you can either put them on the bottom of your page. So if, for example, we've got page one, um, in fact, that might be a good way to show you. Um I don't want it dangling at the bottom of this one because I've got this this edge in here and I want it. You can have some dangles going down from there. That's a thought. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. So we've got something different. So I thought that I would just turn the camera on. Not everybody um, perhaps have seen this being done. I'm after a me beading needle. It's looking, that one's looking a bit, a bit bent, but it should be all right. I've got some of my Natalie Stewart lovely threads here um, and I thought these colours, it's uh, it's multicoloured, don't look it on this strand um, and I thought the colours went with that flower on there so um, I've got my beads and do you know these are the, these are great, they're from, these are from the works in the UK I know you can get them from most craft stores. But, do you know, these have been last... I've had them three years, four years. And, uh, oh, a little thing there that I might like to use. Uh, and I love them. The reason why I like them as well for, for most projects is they've got a good millimetre diameter to get needles through. If you haven't got a beading needle, as long as you've got a fine needle, it doesn't... Uh, they do, They fare quite well. So, I'll just get my beading needle open. I've got fiddly finger. I can't feel ends of my fingers now with all this. Dropping to bits, I am. And I want this to be double stranded. So, let's... Let me do it off camera because I can't do it so far away from myself. I'm all right here. Let me just... Uh, two ticks. Just have a look at my fabrics. Look, that's it. Right. Okay. I want it thicker because we're going to be holding the beads. So I don't want it to be too thin. Okay. Right, let's see how I'm going to do this so you can uh, see. Shall we have 
I'm always wanting to go to peach, aren't I? I always like, right, we'll have peach and then I think we'll have some reds because of those colours in there. So, yeah, let's get a few of them out. A few reds out. Okay. Now, so I'm going to do them uh, dangling down. We'll start at this end. So, in actual fact... I'm going to do it on its side. I can't do it back to front. You know, I, I can't do it upright and be able to do it. Just So sometimes I like to do like some holding, a holding stitch. Just to anchor my fabric in. Okay, so I'm going to do the reds first. So one... Oh, cracky. Two. Fancy me deciding I'm going to do beady things on camera. I'm going to do it like this. Three. Four. So glad I found my mat. Five. So we're doing in odd numbers. Okay. And let's see. It depends on how much of a, a dangle you want. So if you just want it to be like a little edging, which I think we will do, that will be quite pretty. You pull all your beads down, back down together in a loop and take your needle through. And I like to just do another little stitch. Just for extra security. And there you have that little dangle. So we'll come to the next spot. We'll do a holding stitch there. And then back up. Yeah, till it's because I'm trying to let me move that light a bit, shining in my eyes. It's because of where we're filming with the the camera now. It's in my way. Right, we're going to have five peach then. So, one, two, three. Fabulous, aren't they, these needles? These beading needles. <clears throat> They're the double-ended open. You can get some beading needles with just an eye at the top and they're very fine. Um, but I, I like these because they're so bendy. Okay, so we have our bead. Take it back to where you started. She says, stabbing herself. Sorry, guys, I shouldn't be doing this sort of thing anymore. Well, no, I've no feeling in my fingers. Oh, love, love, love. Okay, I'm just going to do an extra little holding stitch for that set. Next one. So, hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all having fun. I'm really looking forward to um, having a go at, at uh, doing all my fastenings for this booklet at the top. I think that will be fun. I've not done it before, so it'll be a bit of a challenge. So, one. Two, three. Beautiful, aren't they? They were. I think I can't remember. They were under twenty pound for all these. 
I don't, I don't know, they might have been about 12. I can't remember now. But they are lovely pretty beads. And if you like me, I don't, you know, I'm not into beading massively. You don't need to be buying loads, do you? Right, I'm just going to twizzle that a bit because it doesn't want to lie flat. There we go. I love, am I going to have enough? No, probably not. Let's uh, get some more cotton. And also get some more beads. What are we up to next? Peach. There we go, get some more of those. Sorry, I'm being quiet, I'm concentrating, I've forgotten I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm just doing it quietly away here, nobody listening. I'm making a pig's ear of thread in this. <laughs> I've forgotten. <laughs> oh dear. They're coming to take me away, ha <laughs> ha. I've totally forgotten we were filming. <laughs> Big silence. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's just neaten that knot off a bit. There we go. <laughs> Start again. Start again. Now, the other thing I've got. Do I want that there? No, I want that at that side. I was going to say this is a heart that I've been saving. Um, it was on a cardigan that I had at one time. There were some really pretty buttons like that and then that dangling. Okay. Next. The thing is that if you do the holding stitches... Then, you know, and one, and, and one of these loops happened to break. And now they're all um, together, but you'd only lose one loop then because I've put stitches in between. Okay. Right, peach. One. You see, if you haven't got this felt mat, these would be flumbling about all over, so it's really useful. I think we got it off Amazon. Do we have Amazon, David? What? This felt mat? Um, no, I think it was direct from some supplier elsewhere. Like who? The Grey Felt Mat Supply Company. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
Oh, well, you just can't get the stuff, can you? No. Okay, just another. I'm going to just put another little holding stitch down there. Okay, I'll do one more and then I'll carry on. But I think you get the uh, you get the gist of that, don't you? Oh, we're getting into a bit of orange now with this. Whoops! Might help if you're anywhere near. They're so fine these needles, you can't you can't feel where you're stabbing them. Right. I love these red ones. They've got like a a clear glass outer. I've got some plain red that are more like beads that you get in uh, like African jewellery. But these are they've got like a red paint in the middle and then a a clear outer. I mean the plastic, not glass, are they? But okay, so back down near. Oh, that's too. Doesn't like that going through that thickness. <laughs> this what that the, they're having a they're having a heyday. Keep twisting round there we go let's just anchor that again in its place okay then so that's a quick video for you today um i'm going to do these i love that i'm going to do this these all the way along and then at this end, I think I may, well, no, I might put that. I think that might be quite nice down there, you know. Somewhere different. Yeah, no, I'm going to carry on totally with the beads right to that end. And I think that goes really pretty with, it looks really pretty with that. Okay then, so uh, let me know what you're doing, what page you're up to with your Journal of Stitchery. All the details, as always, are down below for uh, the Facebook group for um, Rachel, Sarah and Judy, their mum. And I'll see you next video. Bye for now.